everyone. Welcome once again to Aero Discussions. I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Eric. Eric, today we embark on episode number 20. We've got three more episodes after this, and today we're going to talk about Home Invasion. Uh, I thought this one was decent. What did you think? Um, my, my first impression, just kind of like while watching, I was like, this is a really good episode. And then when we got to the end of the episode, I was like, the Oliver Diggle story is the exact same thing we got last episode, just with a different ending. It is literally the same plot with the two of them, character-wise. It's I don't Ollie, know if I agree with that. It's Ollie kind of ignoring what Diggle wants, and then, except this time it ends with Diggle being like, screw you, man, I'm out. I don't think so. I think that it's an escalation. Uh, I, I, you're right, it's the same thing, except that circumstantially it's different, because this time more people died. Yeah. I think it's actually fine. What I like about it is is uh, he he made, in Diggle's eyes, the first time he made a mistake, and he... He get he kind of redeems that mistake at the end by being his friend and saying that he'll help him with with uh, with with his problem and go after um, the murder of his brother. And then right. this episode, you get to the end and he is all on board and planning to do that. But then something he thinks is more important comes up again, and it's a bigger problem because, like I said, people actually die this time. So actually, what I really like about it is that uh, Diggle leaving at the end is not an overreaction. Uh, he gave Oliver a chance, and he blew it, and then he blows it again, and then he leaves. Um, so yeah, I, I don't agree with that. I don't think it's the same thing. Okay, okay, okay. I, I just I got to the end of the episode, and I was kind of like, I feel like this was last episode, but but with a different ending. I'm not saying it necessarily was, but because uh, I really enjoyed the episode on, on the whole. Um, oh, I have to mention something. Before yes. I forget, because it's something very small, so I'm going to forget if I, if I don't say it now. Okay, My go ahead. favorite shot in the entire series is, is in this episode. Okay. There's a point when Shadow is teaching Oliver how to shoot the arrow, and she stands next to him, and he pulls it back, and it is, it is exactly... Uh, one of the covers of Longbow Hunters. I think it's issue two, off the top of my head. Oh, wow! I didn't even pick up on that. Yeah, I, I, I mean, obviously they're not, you know, in the Longbow Hunters costumes, but it is exactly the cover from Longbow Hunters, and that made me squeal like a little girl. Not, not, That's not really actually, cool. but, yeah. <laughs> um, of, course I, of course, you and I have reviewed Longbow Hunters, but I read it in trade, and I don't think I took a really good look at the covers. Yeah, go back to that to that scene where they're where they're training and just and just look at the the cover where they're where they're kind of where she's kind of standing behind him and they totally I will. they even like stop for a second. Um, well, I'll tell you I the scene that. that made me if 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 there was a scene that that would have at all made me scree squeal like a little girl, it would have been seeing J. August Richards on screen again. Oh, where has he been all of my life since Angel? I know! So, if you don't know who we're talking about, uh, the guy who played Gunn in Angel, who is one of my favorite characters, I, I just I just love that actor, he's fantastic, um, he's in this, and uh, he's, he's, the, he's the hired gun in this, and uh, I loved his performance, but I kind of wish that, of course, that they'd brought him on and let him play either a recurring character or somebody who wasn't just a heavy. I think he might be a recurring character. He doesn't die at the end, right? I, I'm I'm not misremembering. No, that. he did. No, he did die at the end. He got impaled, dude. Oh, that's right. You're right. You're right. I I because because there was a point where I was I was like, oh, I really hope he's coming back, and I kind of forgot that 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 Ollie killed. No, him. I yeah. was I was hoping that too. And of course, he is. It, it struck he me. He should have been those... dead shot. He's got so much more charisma than almost any villain that's shown up in this show. Well, he's got a lot more experience as an actor than a lot of those people. Yeah, I I like. Like he, he he had a like a kind of a nothing role. Like we've seen, you know, it this was. kind of character. Is is it weird that I feel like the the two best kind of villains we've had in the show uh, are him and the guy from Heroes, who both played like nobodies, but brought yeah, like, I so, so much too. great charisma to it to the parts. Mm -hmm. But also, I think some of that is the perception. I mean, you're right, but I think some of it's also the perception of, um, you know, you know, recognizability. We 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 know these guys. We've seen them before, 
and so we're kind of excited to see them on screen again. And, and you and I have been have been calling all season for more kind of kind of genre guest stars. And it, it was I got I, I got really excited because this was one that was not only somebody I recognized but somebody I really knew really well and liked a lot. Um, but yeah, you're right. It, it was a nothing role. He he uh, he took something that on the page wasn't very much and made it a, a, a lot cooler than it was. I mean, it, it is kind of fun that he got like. I mean, I think it was more fun of a bad guy than a lot of things we've seen this season. Like, um, he's got this whole shtick of, I can't let anybody see me, so I have to kill everyone. Um, and I thought I thought that was kind of cool. There was a moment where I felt like they were playing with, with my expectations, smartly. Yeah. When he walks into the mob boss, I thought he was going to reveal that he was working for somebody bigger, and it was just going to be that scene from, from Batman Begins, where we find out that Scarecrow's working for somebody bigger. And 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 I, the way the scene plays, I, I that's exactly what I thought was going to happen, and that kind of turns on its head, and he's like, I just can't let anybody see me. And yeah. I was like, oh, that's, that's that's really like it caught me by surprise, like because they've done so much kind of homaging or just kind of lifting from those. Films. Well, what kind of what kind of caught me surprise by surprise a little bit um, at at the toward the end was also was how he got into uh, the Queen's house. I loved that. It was so, like... It didn't even... It didn't have to happen. Uh, because nobody knows what he looks like. He could have just shot yeah. that guy. Um, I was surprised by that. Uh, but, but, but he's, he, like, covering his bases really well. Yeah, it was, it was, one, well, it was one of those things that I think really... It was more there for us, the audience, than it was for... Uh, the actual like show, yeah, maybe so. But but I, no, I I really like that. Um, the only thing that he did in the entire episode that I thought was kind of dumb was when he <laughs> was when he put the the gun up to the peephole just for us, the audience, because when yeah, Laurel looks that through, that was dumb. Uh, because like um, he immediately puts it down and pulls his badge up when she looks through it. I, and I found myself going, wait, does he want her to see the gun? And then he did that, and I went, what? wait, what? <laughs> yeah, that was that was well, kind of stupid. Well, it's it's there to build tension because you think she's going to look through it and he's going to shoot her. And I get it, but then when she looks through, he just has the badge up, and there's no reason for, for that previous shot at all. But I did think that there was a lot of really intelligent detail with stuff like that, uh, w like when he when he puts the badge up and she knows that he's not a police officer because the lieutenants have a different number structure that on there. That scene might have just been my favorite scene the whole episode. I kind of um, liked that, yeah. I love Tommy. I kind of wish this was the Tommy show. Tommy with that kid, <laughs> and then and then Tommy yeah, talking to great. Oliver, and and then him. Oh, he's just he just gets better and better. Oh, can I just say, by the way, that kid was fantastic. Oh, he was great. Like I, I bought it. I, I, I was, I was, I was empathetic. I was sad for him. Like I don't even care if those weren't real tears because I bought it. I, I got. I mean, I mean, I didn't cry, but like I kind of felt something when he told his story to that kid. I did. I did too. I thought it was good. It, it, it was. It was. It was immediate. It was immediately followed by yeah, because that kid never thought of closing his eyes and thinking of his parents. But, but it, I really didn't think we would early on in the season. I really didn't think that we would that we would flesh out Tommy this well this quickly. Oh yeah, no way. I I I I really thought he was just kind of going to be like Ollie's friend. Um. Oh, real quick before I forget about it, you were talking about that that scene in the apartment, and when they come back from commercial. I think my favorite line in the whole episode is right there when Lan when Detective Lance looks at Laurel and says, "I think it's time for you to move." Oh, see, my my favorite line in the whole episode was uh, when Tommy says that um, he 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 see, he sleeps at, at Laurel's most of the time, anyways, and then he says that probably wasn't the best time to tell you that, <laughs> and Detective Lance says, "There's never a good time to tell me that." Yeah, that was funny. I just liked that the show was acknowledging that she's been attacked in her house a lot. Well, I think the problem is she's she's a <laughs> public servant, and so she's yeah. always going to be a target no matter where she lives. But well, no, that's a good point. But it but it is true that they. I, I think that that was the though the the show a little bit saying, "God, we've shot a lot of action scenes in this little apartment." <laughs> 
Yeah. Well, that is kind of funny. Like, that is a standing set that they blow up every other episode. Like, can can we talk about the scene that? Well, well, I, it's not even really a scene. It's it's one of the plots of the episode. Um, sure, sure. That had me terrified until the end of the episode. <laughs> okay, go ahead. The love triangle. I was so worried when that started up. I'm like, uh, it took us 20 episodes, but we're finally here. And then it did the thing it always does, where it subverted my expectations, and it, it stopped. Tommy's just like, I'm, I'm not going to be with you. I was like, you are the single most reasonable person on television. You deserve some kind of uh, some kind of Emmy for the fact that you are the only person on television to make an intelligent decision in your relationship. Ooh, I'm sorry. I don't know if I agree with that. Really? Um, Wow. Yeah. No. I'm surprised by. I'm surprised by that. Um. Yeah. I. I. It didn't subvert my expectations at all. Um. I didn't see because they. They've been. They've been kind of playing around with us a little bit with the idea of a possible love triangle with them the whole season. And this was not the time they were suddenly going to do that. Um. I thought that that uh, getting him to a place where he would leave her over Oliver was really forced. I didn't buy that at all. Oh, that's that's. I uh, see. I I felt like he'd been building for episodes, and this was just him being like, "Yeah, this is going on," and he just stepped away before it even became an issue. Here's I, the thing: I, I, I didn't like buy. Yeah, I, I understand that. That's fair. What what I didn't really get is his whole his whole thing with Oliver. Of course, is he doesn't like that he's a vigilante and kills people, and I get that she's been saved by the vigilante a few times, but I didn't understand his leap in logic of if he if she knew who you were, she would pick you. Because, I thought that was forced. Be, because, I don't buy it. Because we spent a couple of episodes where we clearly established that she is a thing for the vigilante. On top of that... I didn't think that... Really? Has that really been that much in the forefront? There's a whole episode dedicated to it. That she has a thing it. for him? There was a whole episode dedicated to it when he found out that she was calling him and like kind of like running around with with the vigilante for an episode and not telling um, because because as far as Tommy sees it based on what we've seen it's a double thing it's that she's going out and talking with with Oliver without telling Tommy and she goes out and and does stuff with the vigilante without telling Tommy yeah that's true i and, suppose you're right about that i guess the problem is i've never been invested in the love triangle at all well, I never saw. And so it it's hard for me to really is... pay attention to all that because I just don't really care that much. But here's the thing: when you have th- the problem, I think ultimately is that it's based on a comic book, and I know that if this series lasts a, a, a good long time, like it's like, like it's going to, those two will inevitably wind up t- together because they do in the comics. Right. So I don't really care how it happens. I know it's going to, and I know that Tommy is going to get hurt in the crossfire. Now, at the same time, you're you're right that it's kind of cool that he's the one that leaves. So I mean that's neat. But I also don't know if I trust the show not to have them get back together again at some point in the interim. See, because I'm still banking on him becoming a villain at the end of, at the end of the season. I think that relationship. I don't happen. think it'll happen that fast. Um, I think he will become a villain, but I don't think it'll happen that fast. See, I, 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 I feel like his dad's gonna die and he's gonna make a pro- proclamation to to destroy But to your but Eric, to your point, you are maybe selling me a little bit more on the way the the, the uh their relationship was handled uh this episode. I still I don't know. I guess the thing was I, I just I sort of called it. I really thought I really thought maybe he'd leave at the end. Oh see, I I, I didn't see that at all. I, I, I saw, you know, three seasons of, of stewing and and sexual <laughs> tension. Um, maybe yeah. that's small, but that might also be a credit. Fight. Yeah, but that might also be a credit to the to the series a little bit uh, that that they're doing more reasonable things, and maybe the more reasonable thing was for him to, to to leave. I'm not sure. I think maybe I would need to sit down and watch it again. I'm just I'm I, I I'm not clearly. I haven't collected my thoughts together. Well, about you that just well. I'm not. I'm I not sure. Yeah, that. and I, I I literally watched it ten minutes before we started talking. So right. I, you know, I've not formulated my thoughts on that. Um, so I would have to watch it again. And 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 again, you know, we've talked about this a lot. Watching this whole this whole season um, together again, having you know, knowing how this how the season ends and where everything's going, I think you and I are both going to have a very different perspective on the whole thing. Yeah. 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 Um, anyway, um, what else should we talk about? I thought the island stuff was fantastic. Uh, talk about subverting expectations. I did for a minute worry, oh God, he's going to get really good at shooting arrows in one day. 
Yeah, and I, I love was, that that's I not where they went because he's like he's like you've got to um you, you and I guess the only reason I was worried about it was because uh Shadow thought she could do it. They thought she could she could teach him how to do it in one day, and I'm like, well, if, if you know, she's been pretty great at everything else. If she actually thinks she can do that, maybe the series is really going there. Um, after spending a whole episode of just strengthening his arm enough to pull a bow back, and then they didn't go there, and I was thrilled that they didn't. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, 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 I really like that. Um, she is growing on me hard, man. I love, I'm, I'm loving that actress more and more. Which her, is her, and Sl- <clears throat> her and Slade both. Um, I the three I, of them have real charisma together now. I mean, like, like there, there's there's actually a little bit of comedy on the island now, which I'm surprised by. Yeah, I mean, it's it's yeah. subtle, it's not in your face, but I mean, like, the, these seem like real people. They seem like the kind of they seem like people that have spent a whole lot of time together and they've warmed up to each other a little bit because you you have to or you'd go crazy, and it's great. I am going to request that this that this be the final time that we use. Um, Yao Fei, and then like everyone attacks, because I feel like yeah, this could is, we like, the... stop doing that? Yeah, good. Yeah, this is like the third time, right? Like this just keeps happening. It is, and it's it's the it's also the second or third time that we've that we have to think. Okay, is he is he really with them, or are they forcing him to do this? I got the impression they just threw him in there. Um... But, well, I, yeah, I did too. But I also got the impression that the episode is trying to make you wonder whose side he's on again. Yeah, and well, I'm like, uh, well, 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 all right. Well, he's 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 <laughs> he'll die in the season finale. It'll be dramatic, and we'll be like, finally, we don't have to deal with that side switching guy anymore. Um, but he if never switched mind, sides I wanna, to begin with. I want to I want to switch uh, um, topics again real fast and um, mention that I am really surprised. I was really surprised that an episode that you really hated and I liked better than you, but I still didn't like the villain plot, set up something fantastic. Oh, I completely and forgot that is, about this. I completely forgot and about that this. Is, and that is Roy Harper, I'm liking suddenly. Well, I don't... Do we, do we ever, like, dislike Roy Harper? Because I remember liking him from the get-go, just not liking, um, like, the plot or what they were doing. No, no, no. I liked him... I liked him from the get-go, and I like the actor a lot. I think he he's... I mean, not that I know a whole lot about that character, but from what little I've read of Roy Harper in the comics, he seems kind of straight off the page to me. And, um... It just... Or maybe it's just the look of that actor. But I feel I, I feel like the actor's got the, the, the right look and the right attitude. And... I liked him at the beginning, and then they did some stuff in the middle that I wasn't really caring caring for. Remember, I didn't like that whole bit of, like, I took a job, and then yeah, I yeah, really that, fast that, decided that, I didn't that, want that the job. Weird. I didn't like all that. But, like, now he's suddenly got a little bit of a noble streak to him, and I'm buying that he suddenly has that, and that he doesn't believe he can really work in the real world, so this is his only road to redemption and his only road out of a crappy slum life. Um, you, you know, you know, trying to find the vigilante and maybe I, I see it as almost like a Tim Drake thing. Like I want to find the vigilante and work with him. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I really, like I him. love that. I'm not sure that that um, Detective Lance would use three police cars just to get his radio back. Um, <laughs> yeah. That seemed a little extreme. I, um, but I loved how he made his point of don't go find the vigilante. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that that was great. Um, I think that was maybe one of the strongest scenes. Well, I'm going to call it one of the strongest scenes of the season only because he he did something I've never seen anybody do before. He picks up that arrow and he shoves it back in the dead guy's chest. Yeah. And I just thought that was a really strong way to make a point. And then, of course, they ignore him even after watching that. I mean, that's part of the reason I like that scene so much, is that, I mean, he made that in the most blatant, terrifying way, and that shows you just how dedicated Roy is to finding the guy that turned his life around. And yeah. I just, I really like that. I think, I think, it's, I think it's fantastic. I think that, that uh, him ignore it's weird. Like, I almost sympathize with him more because he ignored that kind of logic. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. That was great. Yeah, no, I, 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 I really liked what they're doing with Roy. Um, when they, when they brought him in, I really wasn't sure how they were going to get him to meet the, you know, you know, meet up with the rest of the cast. 
I think it's going to be really interesting. Um, I, I really like the way that they're going. Um, I feel like Thea's going to find out, and then she's going to be the bridge. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. Uh, what you got to wonder about, and actually what's kind of interesting is the fact that, that uh, she's dating Roy and she's named Speedy. Uh, Oliver keeps calling her Speedy, so that's interesting. Yeah. Um, but, but one thing you got you to gotta wonder about is, and we've never talked about this, just the sheer number of people on the show who know his secret identity right now. Oh, yeah. Boy, you didn't have this many in Smallville till like season five or something. Like... Yeah, no, ev- everybody knows, or suspects. Or suspects, but uh, so many people know, no. I mean, you know, we've got we've got two people working with him in the Arrow Cave, and then we've got Tommy now. Yep. Uh, and, and, and Lance suspects. Um, somebody else knows, don't they? I feel like there's somebody else that knows. Yeah, am I am I forget? I feel like I got I've got to be forgetting somebody. I feel like somebody else Maybe knows. Maybe not. And then um, the count kind of knows. Um, yeah, and of course he's conveniently all screwed up in the head and stuff. Yeah. Um. um what else? What else is there in this episode we haven't really uh, talked about? I'm yet. never uh, walking into a large building uh, with a trench coat and a hat. <laughs> because I may be jumped by uh, a bunch of CIA people because I look somewhat mysterious, apparently. <laughs> but, but like, who... Here's the thing. If you're not doing something suspicious, why would you hold your head down like that just because you're wearing a hat? Well, you, you hired a sniper. Why would you think he would walk in the front door? He's not that kind of hit man. Like his track record. No, he's is being no. A that's sniper. a good point too. He's totally not. But what, what was what was silly about the guy with the hat is he walks, and that was clearly just a just just a plant, you know, for the for the audience and whatnot. Like like he walks in with his hat like that, and then like he takes it off, and then he just puts his head up like a normal person and starts and he, like, walking around. Away. Like he only did that because he was wearing a hat. You know what he looked like? He looked like Nightcrawler at the beginning of X two. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I don't know. That was sort of hilarious. No, uh, the, no, it, but, it, but the rest of how really, that scene played out was really cool. It was this really weird scene of I don't know if it was intended comedy. Where I was just like, I was just like, CIA people could literally be waiting around any quarter, waiting to jump me because I look suspicious and they think I might be, <laughs> I, I might be a, a, a sniper. But yeah, you made a great point. He's not that kind of hit man. No, he's not. I did, I did think it was nice. What's By really funny that, uh, is, is, if, is if they looked up, he's exactly where you think he'd be. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and nobody guessed it, not even Diggle. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I, I uh, one thing I do appreciate is that we've got yet another episode after last episode that is talking about Deadshot. Is not really that much about Deadshot, but he's actually in it and does stuff? I miss, I miss his wrist guns. Um... They, 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 they had him in the first episode, and I haven't seen him since. I kind of miss those. Uh, yeah, it's really <laughs> weird that he's been in this show. He's the most reoccurring villain, right? This is the, he's, he, he's got a hat yeah. trick now. Um, That's true. Mm-hmm. And I feel like he's one of the most underdeveloped villains. Uh, also, so far he is. I think that they've got plenty of opportunity to do things with him, but i got to ask you, do you buy that he doesn't just straight up kill Diggle? No, no. I'm not sure I bought that. I mean, like, I get that he is kind of, he's a career criminal, he's committed to that, and he doesn't, and and he just, he has this thing where he doesn't kill people unless it's for money, but when somebody's got a vendetta against you, isn't that a really bad idea? Suspending superhero... He's like, well, I'm not being paid for this, so I'm not going to shoot you. Suspending superhero logic, in the past year you've come to a city twice and almost been killed, do you... Do, do you do you think a little bit before you go right back there for another hit? Like 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 do yeah, you maybe pass exactly. on that jump? <laughs> I mean, obviously, if you keep Diggle alive, he's going to keep coming after you. Oh, I'm, I'm not even talking about Diggle. I'm, ta- I'm talking I'm talking about the hood. Like yeah. like at the start of this episode, they're like, oh well, they put they put a contract. I was like, if I was him, I wouldn't come back to the city until this this hood. Yeah, and why are over. there? 
And why are there so many contracts for that guy in that one city when clearly he's a global hitman? Like, he was in another country. Uh, something that kind of bugged me because I gave them a pass and then they brought it back up. When he kills everyone in that food court, I was like, how's he going to get all their names for his tattoos? Like, like he just killed a bunch of people and he doesn't know who they are. Plus, clearly, he's willing to kill people that he's not being specifically paid for. Yeah. But, but, but I, I, was, I was like, okay, maybe we're just going to pretend that tattoo thing isn't really a thing anymore. And then when he talks to Diggle, he pulls his neck down. He's like, I got a spot for you right here. I was, I was like, no, well, wait, wait. The- How does he find out who those people he killed were to tattoo their names on him? No, no, because clearly he just tattoos the names of, of anybody that he that he was hired to kill. But he, he tells Diggle he's going to put Diggle there, and he, nobody's hiring him to kill Diggle. That's why he doesn't shoot him. He's waiting for somebody to hire him so that then he can put his name there. That might be a long time. Diggle doesn't really do anything to annoy those kinds of that's, people. That's my point, though. That's why I thought that was silly. <laughs> it is silly. Like, he's just going to wait around for somebody to hire... But yeah, but, but I'm just saying that clearly he only tattoos people that he was hired to kill, and he kills the people in the food court because I guess he thought he had to? I think they were all agents. That's kind of... Yeah, he was gonna he was gonna get shot. Yeah. He was gonna get killed if he didn't kill them. Yeah, so that ma- so yeah, no, 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 that makes sense, but what, what, what doesn't or, I'm not sure or makes sense is he I'm gonna just let this left. guy keep coming after me until somebody hires me to kill him. Like, like I think what would be great, Eric, is if we got an episode that opened up with him just calling people up going, do you have a problem with this John Diggle guy? Because I really need somebody <laughs> to hire me to go kill him. Well, 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 well How much well, would you pay me to kill this guy? <laughs> Hold on, rewind just a little bit. <laughs> He okay. shot these people so they didn't shoot him, right? I guess. Why didn't he just leave? He knew they were all, like, agents or whatever. He knew that the hit wasn't real. Why didn't he just leave? He put himself in danger. <laughs> That's a good point. I don't know. He wow. could have just we're left. We're really belaboring the scene, and it's like the longer we talk about it, the more it kind of seems to fall apart a little bit. <laughs> But that's okay because overall, this is a pretty great episode. I re- um, I, re- I, re- I really enjoyed this episode. I I thought just it was a downer episode, though, man. Like this was we're we're back to pretty darn somber. Um, you know we've we've got a we've got an episode where two people uh, leave people at the end. well actually two people leave Oliver at the end. Uh, he sort of he sort of left uh, high and dry at the end. I'm a little worried that the that, that the season finale is going to be a sad Conan ending, and oh, I am too, man. But. I'm kind of worried Diggle's gonna die. I, 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 I've been feeling. Ooh, over, I hope not. I've been feeling over the past I few episodes think that, that they don't would be have a anything mistake. to do with him. I don't think they have anything to do with him. I, 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 I've, I, because we've been noticing that like everybody else is getting a lot more character development and depth. Diggle hasn't changed that much. I don't think they know what to do with him. Yeah, he's he's kind of one note right now because of the thing with his brother, and that that's about it. Um, like like we need, and I and I think that that's the reason. Again, I, I hate to belabor the same scene. I think that's the that's ultimately the reason uh, story wise they decided not to let. Um, well, they would. I guess they would have to kill him right there. But I, I guess I, I guess what I mean is that's the reason that they have to keep elongating this whole business with him and Deadshot. Because it's the only right? thing he's got. We've got to keep that around because he doesn't have anything else right now. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I feel like the writers don't know what to do with him. So I have this fear he's going to die. Man, I hope not because I, I just I think that that actor is one of the is one of the strongest actors. In oh, the show. He, he absolutely is. Um, they just need to find something to do with him. Um, it would be hard to imagine the show without that guy. Having said that, if you told me at the beginning of the season they were going to get rid of him, I would say, well, they got nobody else. And now, I don't feel that way. I think they have a lot of really good characters in this show. Yeah. So, I mean, I think that it could go on without him. Um, but I would much rather see them just find something to do to make him You know what's going to be known. really weird? Is is if he yeah. dies at the end of the season, and the show runs for six seasons, it's it's going to be like one of those characters like, oh yeah, I remember when they were here. Like, uh, oh, yeah. like, like Miss Calendar and Buffy. Be... Like, when you go back, or you're like, oh, yeah, that's and... right. Yeah, yeah, or, or Doyle. Doyle and Angel, yeah. yeah. It's gonna be weird. It's... Well, anything else we didn't bring up? Um, I don't think so. Yeah, I feel like we covered quite a bit. Uh, we're coming up on a half an hour, so oh, we should probably oh, wrap oh, it up. Oh, I, uh, I, yeah. I, I, I have one more thing to say. 
I think this episode structurally feels the most like a comic book. There's like four things going on, and like three of them are carryover from other episodes. Like, like, yeah, I, sure, I, 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 I feel like this really feels like a comic book issue, um, which, which is interesting. Uh, just, just the way, like, it, 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 it's, it's gone away from standard television A plot, B plot, resolved by end of episode. You, you've got, you've, you've got threads dangling at the end of this, and then you've got things closed up, and, and it just, it's interestingly structured. This is the first episode I've watched where I was like, this kind of feels like a comic book structure. Um... But yeah, I, other than that, I got I got nothing. Well then, uh, everybody, thanks a lot for listening to Air Discussions. We sure appreciate it, and we'll be back. Uh, I want to say next week. Yeah, there is an episode. Next I week. think so. I think we're we're in the clear for the rest of the season. I think the last three episodes are gonna go each be in week. The next three weeks. Yeah, cool. So we'll we'll have one for you the next three weeks, and then we'll be on summer hiatus. And um, Eric and I are talking about over the summer uh, doing a, doing another podcast on maybe some other. Uh, show that's already, you know, been made that we can go through um, episode by episode. We're talking about that. Yeah. We, we may, I'm not, we're not going to announce anything right now, but we're talking about something. So we may, uh, we may have something for you over the summer to, to fill in the, the gap over for the discussion. We don't have to worry about, uh, about season break or about uh, episode breaks. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if we just if we had something to to, to, to do where where like there were two or three weeks that we couldn't meet, but we just told everybody that we were like, man, they're not airing this right now, so we can't meet. Somebody took my DVD for this week. They said they'll bring it back next week. <laughs> so as long as I get the DVD back, we'll see you next week. Well, anyway, uh, thanks again, everybody. Uh, we sure appreciate it, and we'll see you again next week. I'm Captain Logan, and I'm Eric. Bye.